Reinickendorf is a quiet, down-to-earth part of the German capital. And this local branch of the Christian Democrats has always prided itself on upholding traditional conservative values. But recently the party's leadership has begun to flip-flop, such as on the question of equal rights for same-sex couples. It's an issue that, surprisingly perhaps, gets a lot of support among these grassroots members. Of course. Society is changing, and I need to keep up, and so does everyone else, and I think Chancellor Merkel will. I'm all for discussing civil partnerships. My partner's a woman, so this new direction suits me fine. But the new direction split the CDU leadership, with its liberal wing pushing for general equality for same-sex partnerships, including tax breaks. I hope we can end the debate today and show that it's time to introduce tax incentives that take children into account rather than lifestyle choices. Such demands upset the party's conservative faction. Merkel's party risks losing its core voters, according to Norbert Geis, a member of parliament for the CDU's Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union. Of course, there are a growing number of conservative voices that say we have to move with the times. But the problem with that is, you can't always see which changes are lasting. How do you separate the wheat from the chaff? Our core values are marriage and family. And with all due respect for other lifestyle choices, marriage is designed to produce children. So it should enjoy unique privileges over other lifestyles, as is laid out in the Constitution. Then, with unrest growing among party traditionalists, the Chancellor was forced to put her foot down. And the CDU's General Secretary Hermann Gröhe announced what the conservative factions wanted to hear. Tax incentives will remain restricted to married couples, at least until the Constitutional Court tackles the issue in the summer. The opposition looked on with amusement. This is a classic case of political masochism. Chancellor Merkel and the CDU know that the Constitutional Court will eventually make them grant equal rights to same-sex partnerships. But rather than find a political solution to the issue, they're simply waiting to be forced. While same-sex equality may be a bridge too far for Germany's conservatives, under Chancellor Angela Merkel, the CDU has gradually moved away from many of its core values. Compulsory military service, for example, a traditional cornerstone of CDU policy. But it was the conservatives who re-engineered the Bundeswehr as a professional army. Ditto the minimum wage. Long rejected, it now wants a binding minimum level of pay. Same concept, different name. The conservatives were also traditionally the champion of nuclear power. Now they have completely switched energy policies, with the CDU approving a nuclear phase-out in favor of renewable energies. Angela Merkel not only wants to modernize her party, she wants to outmaneuver the opposition as well. It's a strategy that's worked before, says opinion pollster Richard Hilmer. But he still considers it high risk. It was a strategy she pursued in the last election. It's called an asynchronous mobilization strategy. Take away your opponent's main platforms, in this case, that's the Social Democrats, in a bid to appeal to its voters, even if it risks alienating your own core voters. If these core CDU voters in Reinickendorf are anything to go by, Angela Merkel needn't worry about alienation. Her willingness to discard what she considers a weak hand suits them just fine.